Here's our prize. Here's beauty. There you go. Hey, Josh, you want to brush her? Beauty Little? was one of the mares ferried over to Crawley's Island last year. Now she's pregnant. Gary and Bobby Burns, great hope for a foal. Well, Bob, what do you think? How many more days? Oh, I think she's got another couple of weeks yet. A couple of weeks? When they get close to foaling, they're out of fills and empties. There's no waxing yet, though, so we got another while yet. Yeah. yeah. It won't be too long. It'll be within the next two weeks for sure, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that would be about right with the calendar, too. Yeah. She probably got bred as soon as she went on uh, Crawley's on. Yeah, oh, I see, yeah. 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 They're watching beauty like hawks. They realize Mother Nature makes no guarantees. Earlier this summer, they had a foal born by another mare. But four days later, Gary found it lying dead in the barn. Uh, everything was fine for uh, three days. And uh, the foal um, got weak and expired. Uh, and... Um, the vet uh, describing it to us as uh, neonatal complications and uh, uh, of course the uh, when the report came back it confirmed that mm -hmm. so that was a big big letdown um, and uh, it uh, it only goes to prove to us that uh, as much effort as we put into this in the past year and and more um, 50 percent of our total increase is uh, demolished by that one little foal uh, not surviving so are you more nervous this time around then yes we are yes um, really, really realizing how uh, disastrous it can make our full year's efforts uh, by having a loss. So we, uh, we're really uh, concerned about this little girl here now. You sound like a real expected father, though, Gary. Well, it's, it's exactly like that, you know. It's, uh, it sure seems like that. But here's the fellow who really deserves the credit, Rusty, Gary Stallion. Last year, he ran with Beauty and seven other mares. This summer, a new harem is waiting. And he's not the only stud being called to quite know what to make of him. She hasn't bonded with her foal at all, and she won't allow him to nurse. It's a concern for Gary and Bobby, especially considering they lost their other foal. Oh, beauty. Oh, girly. Oh, girl. Hold on, let me put this little lead on you. Huh? They decide it's time to step in. Oh, girl. Yeah. Well, what is it, huh? Oh, girl. With this foal, they're leaving nothing to chance. They'll try to take milk from the mare themselves. Okay. How so, difficult a thing is this going to be? Well, not very, probably not very pleasant because the mare is, uh, we got her in a good position here perhaps, but uh, she still uh, is agitated when anybody goes out of rudder, uh, whether it be the foal now or, well, we'll see what happens when Bobby tries. But um, we'll just have to play it by ear and see if we can get some of this. That foal seems pretty determined though, doesn't he? He does. He's getting more vigorous about it, you know. He, he knows he needs it and he wants it. He's hungry. Yeah. Hey, little fella. Okay, I'm gonna twitch, Bobby. Okay, twitch her. Cause... Okay. Got her. Yeah. She's so tight. Yeah. Bobby's job is to literally oh. milk the mare. Oh, Gary's is to grab <laughs> Beauty's nose and hang on What's tight. Exactly? Well, it, it provides a, a certain amount of pain to uh, keep, uh, keep her distracted from being touched where she doesn't want to be touched right oh. now. And hopefully it's just enough to keep her mind off what Bobby's doing. Good girl. Okay. Go when you can. Okay. There's a little bit going in there. You can hear it. <laughs> Oops. What happened there? That was the cup. <laughs> Did you drop it? No, she kicked it. Oh, oh girl. Oh girl. Oh, girl. Oh. Uh, here we go. Give her a break? Yeah, that might be a good start here. I've got about a couple of answers here. Oh, girly. Here. Good girl. Good girl. The milk is as hard going in as it was coming out. That's that boy. Come on. 
The nimble feels foreign to the foal. At first, he's not all that interested. Some of it's going in. Come on, little fella. There he goes. He's sucking it down. There he goes. It's his first real taste of life, and it doesn't come easy. He's going to think I'm the mommy. Whoops. Okay. Supper time the same day. The foal's taken his first tentative steps on the outside. His mother still refuses to let him nurse, but she has gotten fiercely protective. Oh, little fella. It's okay, girl. It's okay. It's okay, girl. I'm not gonna hurt him. I'm not gonna hurt him. That's okay. Oh, girly. I just wanna give him this milk. Beauty's finally realized the little colt is hers, but she's confused. She knows instinctively what's happening here is important, yet she still can't seem to bring herself to nurse. <laughs> what a nice sound. <laughs> Come on, little fella. Suck it all. Get it down. But the bottle feeding can't go on forever. Beauty must be made to understand this is her job. So Gary and Bobby step in again. And this time, they mean business. This time, they don't just want milk. They're determined to make Beauty nurse. Well, she seems to be kicking out with that uh, left hind leg every time um, the foal or we uh, touch her udder. So if we, uh, if we keep this hoof up, well, she's not able to lift that hind leg because she can't stand on two. The foal takes advantage of the opportunity. He's already had a taste of his mother's milk, and he definitely wants more. And finally, she allows it. Easy, girly. Easy. Yeah, he likes it. He's getting it up his nose everywhere. Is that still sucking, Bobby? Mm-hmm. We should loosen this a little bit, Gary, eh? Yeah, good idea. You desensitize her and she might be fine, now. Yeah. It's just about off there now. Okay, see what she does now. I'll just hold her. Okay, it's off. You can just massage your muzzle if you like and... Uh... Yeah, get all right, beauty. That's okay. Good girl. Kiss, kiss. Okay. They're over the hurdle. After just one more feeding like this, like Beauty will nurse her baby yeah. entirely on her own. I feel like we've accomplished something in life. <laughs> and well, so it came so close. Yeah. It was so close to losing. And uh, at least this is a, a new beginning, a new start, and a good, fresh start. On another pasture, outside another burn, burn little colt spends his time on pasture on Topsail Mountain. Now he can see you. He found you hiding behind me. <laughs> Watch your head. I believe he does. Let go! He's a month and a half old now and has a playmate, another foal sired by Rusty last summer. And they're friends. They're brothers. Did you know that? I knew that. Yeah. Hold on, Keiko. Hmm, what about Twelve new foals were doing? born this summer. All but two survived. I'm trying to take my wallet. They're the first foals, the new beginning, the first step back from the brink of extinction. A small and wobbly step, perhaps, but one that guarantees at least one more generation. The breed has young blood once again. <laughs> 